going to show you how to crate train your puppy. A crate will keep your puppy happy, safe, and trained. But first, meet Gage. He's a seven week old Alaskan Klee and it doesn't get any cuter than this. So click the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you are watching this video because you have a new puppy, then you're gonna wanna watch until the end. <laughs> if you are new to owning a puppy, it is very likely that you are not controlling your puppy's environment sufficiently. It is really easy to underestimate how important this is. You are in the beginning stages of training your puppy to understand your commands and expectations. It takes several months to have a well-trained dog, so you want to control their environment in the meantime. There are a lot of ways that you can control their space, but some of the most common ways are having them in a large puppy-proofed room or an X-pen. You can also have them on a long leash that's tethered to you so that you can control where they are and make sure that you're watching every move that they make, or you can put them in a crate. They all have their own advantages. Using a crate in moderation is a great way for overall training. A crate will give them a secure den-like place to rest, protect your furniture and flooring, <laughs> help you with potty training, and give you some time away from your puppy. A crate may not be the answer for every dog, but if you start using a crate as soon as you get your new puppy, it is a place they can enjoy. Your puppy will likely learn to love their crate and go into their crate on their own at some point. A quick story for you. When we first got Kika, we didn't have a crate for her. In fact, we didn't even own a crate. We thought that was horrible. We were never gonna put our puppy in a crate. When we had to leave her alone, we put her in a huge bathroom and we would close the door. She would dig at the door, get under the door, got to the hall carpet, shredded it of course, ate the baseboard and cried constantly. When she was about four months old, we took her with us to the river. We were staying in a hotel. One of the requirements was that we had to have a crate for our puppy. So I went out, purchased a crate, thinking I'll never ever use this after this trip. Boy, was I wrong. So we put her in her crate, walked up to the hotel room, got all situated, opened up the crate door, Kika didn't want to come out. We couldn't understand why she didn't want to get out and check out the hotel. I couldn't believe it. All this time, I thought I was doing her a favor by not putting her in a crate. Yet, she taught me that she wanted the crate. So from that day forward, we've crate trained every puppy and dog that we've ever had. So if you feel like I did and didn't think that a crate was something your puppy would enjoy, trust me, you're gonna wanna get a crate. Chances are your pup is going to hang out in the crate once they're a little older, simply because it's one of their favorite places in your home. You should start off with a small crate. If you have a small crate, the pup's going to feel like that's their den and also it's gonna help with potty training at night because generally speaking, a puppy's not gonna go potty in the same space that they're going to sleep. If your crate's too big, they're gonna have one area that they're gonna sleep in and then they're gonna move over to another side just to go to use the restroom and then curl back up in the spot that they were that's nice and dry. If the crate is small, they're usually going to whimper and let you know that they need to get out to go potty. A small plastic crate with a handle that can be moved to your nightstand easily is something that I recommend in the beginning and you can always upgrade as the puppy gets a little older. However, some people like their metal crates with the dividers and those are great too. Just keep in mind that if you do decide to use the metal crate that you're gonna want to make it a den like. So get something that you can cover the crate with. They do sell um, the crate covers, which are really nice so you can just roll it down and that way the puppy still feels like it's their den. You're also gonna wanna be able to cover the sides if you do go with the metal side crate because you want the puppy to be able to have that space that's quiet and not be able to see you directly all the time so that way it'll help in the beginning stages of crate training because if you're constantly walking back and forth and the puppy sees you he's never going to settle down also whenever we talk about separation anxiety and training your puppy to be alone and have alone time it's also important to make sure that they don't see you and that they feel comfortable being alone you will want to start off in small doses 15 minutes to one hour at a time, three to four times a day. And then during the night, 
are generally when we recommend using your crate. If you do have to work outside of your home, you do not want to keep your puppy in a crate for long periods of time. You should have a puppy pen or a puppy proofed area for your puppy to be in if you are not gonna be home for more than three hours at a time during the day. Before putting your puppy in a crate, you're gonna wanna make sure that he's already been exercised. This could be a walk in the neighborhood, playing with your puppy, working on training, etc. A tired pup is a good pup. Exercise almost always reduces anxiety levels and makes crate training so much easier. For the puppy to adapt to. You will want to introduce the puppy to the crate in a positive experience. After some exercise and mental stimulation, place the crate on the ground and let him or her check the crate out. You can open the crate door and let the puppy explore going in and out. You can put treats in there, you can put some toys in there. You're just wanting to encourage the puppy to be able to go inside and explore um, the crate without being forced in right off the bat. As your puppy gets comfortable, you're gonna wanna close the crate door and you can go ahead and give them um, something safe to chew on or their favorite toy. Just um, try to help with any type of boredom that they have going on. Once you close the crate door, walk away. Your puppy may cry or whimper and that's okay. So right now is a perfect opportunity for me to put the puppy in the crate. Why? Because we know he's tired. He's obviously sleeping on my lap. Sometimes we do want to cuddle in love with our puppy in the evening on the couch, and that's perfectly fine. But and this is a perfect opportunity right now to get him used to being in a crate. So I'm going to grab the crate. We're going to put him in there and see how he does. As long as you've already exercised and pottied your puppy, um, you should ignore the cry. Give him about 10 minutes or so to calm down and hopefully he'll take a nap. You will want to be home during the first few attempts so that you can get your puppy out of the crate as soon as they wake up. The goal is to get the puppy out of the crate before they even start crying. Puppies are very smart. They will associate their crying and your response as communication. They will learn very quickly that if they scream, their parents will respond. It's kind of like a toddler when you're trying to teach them to sleep in their own bed. Nighttime crate training is a little different. Keep in mind that a young puppy most likely is not going to be able to hold their bladder for eight hours. Again, your puppy should be exercised, pottied, and then put to bed. You can put the crate in your room on a nightstand so that they know that you're close by if that helps them get comfortable. It is best to set an alarm between four to six hours after you put the puppy to bed. You're gonna wanna get the puppy out for a potty break. However, you can just wait until they wake you up to go potty. Just remember, you need to respond as soon as you hear them moving around and not when they're screaming. If you respond to them screaming, this is your puppy training you and not you training them. When you take them out in the middle of the night, it is strictly to go to the restroom. There's no playtime, there's no treats, there's no water. It's just positive reinforcement and praise and then right back to bed. Most puppies will sleep through the night by the time they're 10 to 12 weeks old. Again, that will depend on each puppy, how much they weigh, how big their bladder is, that type of thing. To be successful at crate training, it is important to be consistent and to be patient. Do not forget about exercise. This may be the main reason why people fail at crate training their puppy. You cannot wake up in the morning, get them out to potty, feed them, and then put them in a crate all day while you go to work. Make sure you give your puppy plenty of time to exercise and to go potty before you're crating them. It can take a few days to a few weeks for your puppy to get comfortable in their crate. Click thumbs up for Gage because he did a wonderful job today filming and showing you guys how to crate train your puppy.